The F-35 is now the world's first stealth fighter certified to carry a nuke. That's right, this sleek and sexy jet can now drop a bomb that can wipe out an entire city in seconds. How cool is that? But before we get into the details, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. So, what is the F-35 and why is it so special? Well, the F-35 is a fifth-generation fighter jet that combines stealth, speed, agility, and advanced sensors to dominate the battlefield. It can fly faster than the speed of sound, evade enemy radar, and engage multiple targets at once. It can also take off and land vertically, making it suitable for aircraft carriers and small airfields. The F-35 comes in three variants, the F-35A for the Air Force, the F-35B for the Marines, and the F-35C for the Navy. The F-35A is the most common and the cheapest, costing around $80 million per unit. The F-35B is the most versatile, as it can hover and land like a helicopter. The F-35C is the most durable, as it can withstand the harsh conditions of naval operations. But the F-35 is not just a fighter jet. It's also a bomber. And not just any bomber, but a nuclear bomber. The F-35A is now certified to deliver the B-61-12, a new and improved version of the B-61 nuclear gravity bomb that has been in service since the 1960s. The B-61-12 is a variable yield weapon, meaning it can be set to detonate with a force ranging from 0.3 to 50 kilotons of TNT. For comparison, the atomic bomb that destroyed Hiroshima had a yield of 15 kilotons. The B-61-12 is also more accurate and safer than its predecessors, thanks to its tail kit assembly that allows it to glide and steer towards its target. It also has enhanced security features that prevent unauthorized use or tampering. The F-35A can carry up to two B-61-12S inside its internal weapons bay, keeping its stealth profile intact. This is the first and only stealth fighter to be certified for the B-61-12, giving it a unique advantage over other nuclear-capable platforms. While the Air Force also operates the B-2 and the B-21 stealth bombers, they are much larger and more expensive than the F-35A, and they can only carry the B-61-12 externally, reducing their stealthiness. On the other hand, can penetrate deep into enemy territory, evade detection, and deliver a precise and devastating strike with minimal collateral damage. The F-35A achieved this certification in October 2023, after 10 years of intense effort and testing. The certification applies to all F-35 as in the Air Force's inventory, regardless of their upgrade status. However, the F-35A is not compatible with the older versions of the B-61, such as the B-61-3 or the B-61-4, which are being phased out and replaced by the B-61-12. So, what does this mean for the future of warfare and deterrence? Well, some experts argue that the F-35A's nuclear capability will enhance the credibility and flexibility of the U.S. nuclear posture, as it will provide more options and scenarios for the use of nuclear weapons. Others, however, warn that the F-35A's nuclear capability will lower the threshold for nuclear escalation, as it will make nuclear weapons more accessible and usable in a conflict. Whatever the case may be, one thing is clear, the F-35 is a game-changer in the world of military aviation. It is not only the most advanced fighter jet ever built, but also the most powerful and versatile. It can perform a variety of missions, from air superiority to ground attack, from reconnaissance to electronic warfare, and from conventional to nuclear. It is truly a multi-role, multi-domain, and multi-dimensional weapon. And that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new and interesting. If you did, please leave a comment below and let me know what you think. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, feel free to share them as well. I'd love to hear from you.